Recently, you may have heard news on social media, news channels, warning us again of an evasive new variants now circulating, and therefore, this news continue to elicit too much uncertainty. The question, however, is there truth to this? If there is, what then is the role of vaccination against COVID if these variants continue to evolve and continue to evade the effectivity of the vaccines? Please watch this. We all know that news from around the world is that there is again an increasing number of COVID infections, whether in the U.S. or in China or any parts of the world. In the U.S., for example, a new COVID variant, now the dominant strain, nicknamed the Kraken variant, has now been identified in at least 28 other countries, according to the World Health Organization. The question is whether this variant is more dangerous or if these virus do spread more easily. And are we talking about the same variant that is also spreading in China? Now, it is always best that we hear news or data on COVID vaccines from the right sources. The truth is, despite what you may have heard, there has yet to be a variant that isn't susceptible to the vaccines. What do I mean? All variants, I mean all variants for now, meaning all will continue to be susceptible to the vaccines that we have available. And therefore, that's good news. It is really best that we stop all this misinformation and instead carefully look at the data, listen to experts, Look at reputable sites on Twitter and social media and not hearsays from unknown sources. Now, the main reason why variants are unlikely to fully evade vaccine-induced immunity is mainly because COVID vaccines we have are polyclonal involving both B and T cells. And one has to remember that these cells do cover multiple epitopes across the spike protein. Therefore, it is also best to keep in mind that when talking about vaccine evasiveness, you know what they're talking about? They're only talking about neutralizing antibodies and not the capacity of the COVID vaccine to protect against severe disease, which is what the vaccines are there for. In fact, a very good news is that in a recent published data published in New England Journal of Medicine, it clearly showed that the updated, specifically the updated mRNA bivalent boosters did a very good job in enhancing neutralization against Omicron SAR variants, including the now dominant strain XBB. While the original COVID-19 boosters that we are still giving in the Philippines had an effect against the new variants, but they were of a lower or a reduced response in terms of neutralization activity against Omicron variants. But they are still there to help protect against severe disease. Those individuals, however, who received the BA.5 containing bivalent booster actually showed unimproved neutralizing activity against all Omicron subvariants. So these data so far are all good news, showing that once these bivalent boosters will also become available in our country, it is best that we should line up, queue for it, so that we can get ourselves covered against any new subvariants of COVID-19. And so far, all data on bivalent clearly showed an overall serological benefit of this bivalent booster immunization, suggesting it broadens humoral immunity against all current Omicron subvariants. I hope this video helps alleviate your fears of whatever these new Omicron SAR variants have in terms of evasiveness against our COVID vaccines. My suggestion is we continue to be vigilant, continue to protect yourselves, get the updated boosters once available. Stay safe. This is Dr. Jerry Tan. See you again soon.